Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs>
I just looked at a rabbit, just saw it go that way. I know if I walk that way, there's a better chance of there being a rabbit because I just saw the damn thing, but I walked off this way. And just one day I had that epiphany, and <laughs> so when I saw a rabbit, I'd go hunt that rabbit. May not have found it, you know. It, in my mind, um, I was kind of, you know, shit, that rabbit's in California now. It's not going to stop until it's, no, they go freaking 100 yards and, and stop, 100 feet and stop. They, you know, you don't know. Or they might go into a burrow. I don't know. You might not ever see them again. But at least I thought, you know, if I go that way, I know there's a chance of me seeing that same rabbit. If I go this way, I'll never see that. You know, it was just just stuff like that. Just, you know, and when I my son came out with me that second time, uh, the day before we got the rabbit, he wound up seeing... Uh, four or five rabbits, or maybe in the same rabbit a couple times. But he was like, Dad, why? Because I would just go out and walk. I never stopped moving. I would always watch, but I never stopped moving to listen, to kind of watch that area. I just figured I was going to scare something up, and that's the only way. He was like, Dad, maybe you should just stop and listen and, and watch for, you know, every once in a while. And that's what he was doing, and, and boom, 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 boom. He was seeing. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? So that's what I did on the on the 15th day. I think he came out with me on the 14th day. On the 15th day, I would go out, walk a little. I wound up doing a big loop. Uh, I was just checking out a whole new area, and I found a spot that I might like to go coyote hunting in. I think it'll be a good spot. Walked all the way up at this mountain. I'll show you a little bit of the video on that. And my truck was way down there. And real quick, that was another thing. The first day I was out, I walked like two miles, and man, I was huffing and puffing. and I could hear my breath in my, in the camera. I was, I did that whole. It was a almost two miles, mile, a little over a mile and three a mile and three quarters, and then at the back side of it, I climbed up a steep part of a hill, and then climbed up another hill. I went up quite a ways, and I never got tired. My legs never got tired, you know. The first day I went out there, I'd have died. There's no way I'd have made it up there that quick. You know, I'd have had to stop and rest. I just never stopped. I just, that was a huge benefit that I got from this. But, so I did that loop, went back down, sat at the truck for a second, got a drink. Uh, and then just went out by the truck where he saw those rabbits. Just walked back and forth and I would go a little bit, stop and watch. Go a little bit, stop and watch. And I wound up seeing a, a rabbit. Went to shoot at it. It was a cottontail. They're a seasonal, so I can shoot at it. Um, saw a couple other ones, and then finally got that one that I just happened to walk over. It was a little ravine running alongside. I just happened to walk over and stop and look, and saw him just jet off. Took my shot. Got him. You know, if I'd have just kept walking and not. So, thanks to Roman. Thank you, Roman, for that little bit of wisdom there. But... It was just it was just a plus all the way around. You know, there was nothing negative. Even on the days I didn't see a rabbit, it it, it bummed me out because not bummed me out, but you know, I'd like to get a rabbit every day. But um, I learned a lot on it. I gained a lot from it, and I recommend it to anybody. So I'm not going to keep dragging this out. I don't know what else to say on that. Um, I'll definitely be doing more of it. I wanna. I'm gonna be have a video coming up here. I'm putting a scope on the. Uh, the 1022 Ruger I have, it's a takedown. Um, throwing a scoop on that, or a scope, a scoop, throwing a scoop on it. Throwing a scope on that. Um, I'd like to do the challenge with that. You know, I'd like to go hunt them with the 22. I can't imagine <laughs> how long that's going to take. But that video is coming up of me putting that scope on and stuff like that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of changes to the channel here. I've got some stuff coming. This green screen you have, see behind me. Um, that's going to go away and I've got a whole new background coming. That's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Um, uh, got a lot of changes coming for the channel. So, uh, keep an eye out. PRN is going to be starting up. Randall Braggs has, uh, got his new studio. Oh my God, that thing's gorgeous. I'm jealous as hell, but, uh, so he's ready to start, uh, doing the podcast hot and heavy. We've got some great, um, people wanting to come on um so just keep an eye out now on to the good stuff i had the uh the giveaway and of course now i gotta block this out because i got a green screen this is green and so i'm kind of happy to get rid of the green screen um i had one winner one person guessed the right day so this was first place this will be going to him and that winner is Tommy Taylor, 7851.
Tommy Taylor 7851 and I'll put it up here too. Uh, reach out to me, Tommy. Uh, my email, I'll put it up here. It's in my description. Uh, it's in the information on the channel. Email me. Uh, give me your address and stuff, and I will get this sent out to you. Of course, it has to be the heaviest thing, but I'll get it sent out to you. Congratulations. Thanks again for supporting the channel, um, making it fun for me, being a part of it, and we'll see you on the next one. I have nothing more to say here. Thanks, everybody.